And that's I, not weird. That's, you just have good taste. That's <laughs> exactly. I share the same opinion. And uh, I don't really have a question. It's more of a request. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> of my childhood, it was uh, a dream of mine to eventually have a mogwai. Obviously, I didn't manage to get that dream, but I got a small one here, and it would be great if you could sign the little tag in it. I'm so sorry, I know it's a... Uh, I'm sorry I can't do that. Yeah, of course I can. You bring, it up. bring it up and we'll get a pen, and while you're bringing it up and a pen, I'll sign your mogwai, and uh, we'll take one, one other question. And um, it's, uh, it's to know if you were sneaky enough to keep one of the animatronics or a gizmo figure from the set. Yeah, this is the classic, did they let you take a gremlin yes. home with you question yeah. <laughs> that I get all the time. What's your name, darling? Carla? C-A-R-L-A? C-A-R-L-A? To Carla. Uh, so it's kind of actually a funny story, he says, as he writes his signature on the back of the ear. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, very quickly, what would happen uh, by the second movie is, and this is probably, we'll, we'll, ex we'll explain it pretty, pretty quickly. The, each gremlin or gizmo or whatever animatronics creature in the first movie probably was worth somewhere around forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a piece. Because they were incredibly labor intensive to build. By the time you get to Gremlins 2, and Rick Baker, they're like seventy-five thousand to maybe ninety thousand dollars U.S. a piece to build. So now Warner Brothers was keenly aware that these were very valuable commodities. So I would drive my car onto the Warner Brothers lot, work all day, and when I left, uh, security guards would make me pop my trunk, open the back of the trunk. And I go, what are you doing? They said, we're going to check to make sure that you don't steal a gremlin. I said, wait, well, I'm in the movie. They said, exactly. <laughs> you have more access to the gremlins than anyone else. So you are more likely, you or the special effects people are the ones that we check the most. So I worked on that movie for four and a half months and they checked my trunk every single time I left the studio. So eventually I just drove up, I popped the trunk. I'd be like, hey guys, pop. They go, shine the flashlight in there. All right, have a great day, Zach. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I'm not, not even make sure I'm not stealing anything. Um, but it's kind of like saying like uh, to someone, like, you did the Fast and Furious movies. Did they let you take a car with you? Like, not really. It's, they're just really, really expensive. So, yeah. I, I actually, this kind of, I don't know, this always sort of depresses people. Maybe it shouldn't end in a bad note. But I have no Gremlins memorabilia. I don't even have a Gremlins poster in my house. I have, I literally have like nothing. I just have a kind of beaten up gizmo that like that you that I bought at a store that I just take with me around to conventions sometimes. Be like, hey, I'm getting gremlin dude. Yeah. So yeah, I don't really, I don't really, uh, I don't really have anything left for the movie except the, the incredible memory of having been in the movie you're about to see right now. Yeah.